people throw this oil away every day. I'm using it to heat my entire shop. If you've ever tried to heat a shop in the wintertime, you know it's expensive. Propane costs a fortune, electric heaters barely keep up, wood takes time, space, and constant feeding. Now here's the crazy part. Used oil is everywhere. People pay to get rid of this. Shops throw it out, it gets recycled or burned somewhere else. So instead of paying for heat, I thought, what if I build something that burns this cleanly and safely? And not a small one, a gigantic one. This thing is gonna be built from quarter inch steel because heat destroys thin metal fast. So with this build, I'm gonna be focused on durability, heat, and flame stability. From the research that I've done on building one of these, the air mixture is everything. Too much oil equals smoke, too little air equals a bad burn. Let me show you the stuff that I plan on using. I'm gonna keep it real simple and try to use stuff that I have laying around the shop. So first off, I've got my two pipes. They're quarter inch wall because that's what I had laying around. I know it's pretty thick for this build, but I'm not really worried about getting radiant heat off of this. What I'm gonna do when it's done is stick it in my DIY heater there and just heat up the tubes to try to get hot air pushing out of it. If you haven't seen that build, go back and check it out. So I have one 12 inch diameter pipe and I have one uh, eight and a half inch diameter pipe. My plan is to drill a bunch of holes inside of this pipe right here. And then I'm gonna make a cover plate right here and a cover plate for the bottom. And I'm gonna come in here with air and I'm gonna blow air inside of there and the air should circulate inside of there. And I'm gonna do my drip line through there. So I have this fan that was pulled out of a house furnace and then I've got this variable speed controller for it right here. I'll leave a link to this on Amazon. They're really, really cheap. You can power anything that's 120 volts with it and just plug it right in, turn it on or off and uh, there you go. So I got miscellaneous pipes. What I have here is I got these two inch pipes. What I wanna do is cut this at an angle, weld it into there maybe like that, and then twist one of these pipes into there. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can unscrew the pipe when I stick this in and out of my furnace. And then for my drip feed, I just have a bunch of lines, a bunch of hoses. Basically, I'm just gonna have a plastic bucket up here and I've got this plug that I can put in there and just kind of come out of there with this stuff, come down until I got a line like comes right here and then drips down inside of there. That's pretty simple. I'm gonna start welding, grinding and cutting, get everything laid out and I'll bring you back. So now I'm gonna get that welded up and then what I'll do next is make my base. I'll stick this on a piece of uh, steel that I have, trace it out, cut that out and then I'll have my base piece for this and the other piece, and I'll show you how that's gonna work. I've got my top piece and my bottom piece cut out. What I used to cut these pieces was this $140 plasma cutter off Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but if you guys have seen my previous uh, CNC plasma build videos, I use these in those videos, and I use those on CNC plasma machines, and they work awesome. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. It cuts great. It cut quarter inch like butter. Let me walk you through how this is gonna go. So this is gonna be the bottom plate, which is solid. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So this will go on here like this. I'll weld this underneath here solid. And this is the ring that goes on the top. This is kind of like the cap. So it's gonna slide over both these pieces like this. Go into here, center that up. Now maybe you guys can see what I got going on. So the air is gonna come in here. It's gonna circle around inside of here and it's gonna blow out the holes that I drill on this inside piece here. And then from there, what I'll have is one pipe coming down like this and dripping oil into the center. What I need to do now is take this, do some measurements all the way around here and lay out some even drill holes. And I think I'm gonna do quarter inch holes, maybe rows of five all the way around here. And then I might stagger some of three on the inside so we get a lot of surface area. What I'm hoping is because this is so tall and so wide, we'll get a nice big tower of flame coming out of the top. So let me spend about three hours drilling. I'll bring you back. After about a whole hour of drilling, I got the inside pipe drilled out. So what I did was I measured out the four corners and I dropped the line down and I marked out and drilled five quarter inch holes all the way down. I stopped an inch from the bottom and an inch from the top. Then in between those rows, I did a line and I did four holes, one in between each one of these right here. So that gives me a bunch of holes equally spaced all the way around. Hopefully that's enough. What I'm gonna do next is weld this tube to that plate on the bottom 
and I'm gonna weld it solid all the way around. And then what I'm gonna do is slide the big tube here over the top and I'm just gonna tack it around the sides. I don't wanna fully weld it out until after I test it, just in case I gotta take it back apart and do something with these holes. First things first, let me get this welded on. I got all the welding done and I did have to weld all the way around and weld it solid. So if I do have to make the holes bigger or something like that, hopefully I can get like an angle drill bit in there or something. So I have the air tube welded in there. I have the top and the bottom welded in right here all the way around. And then in there is where the oil is gonna go. To couple this fan real quick, I just kind of twisted this coupler on there and it kind of made a little thread. So hopefully it holds that in there for now. So what I wanna do before I get the drip going in there and I get the bucket all set up is I wanna just pour a little bit of oil in there, see if we can get it to light with my weed burner and see if we can get it actually working so that we know if it works or not, if I have to do any modifications before I move on to the next step. I do have some waste oil that I took out of my 350 gallon drum out there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is use this bar and chain oil that I have just so I can pour it in there a little bit. I know it's nice clean oil and we can see if we can get this thing lit. All right, so here's this bar and chain oil. I'm not sure how much to put in there. I've never done this before. Okay, so I put like maybe a 16th of an inch down in there. So now I'm gonna take my weed burner, stick it down in there, see if we can get the flames going. If we can get the oil burning, then I'll start turning the fan up slowly, see what we get. Being careful not to stick my face directly over that, but it looks like the oil is lighting. Oh yeah. It is lit down in there, check it out. Wow, looks good too. Let's see, let me start turning this fan up slowly and see what happens, see if we can get a bigger flame in there. So I know it's a mix of air and fuel, um, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that mix yet. Here, we're slowly turning it up here, just a little bit at a time, and you can see it is coming up. Look at it. Yo, what? All right, let's keep going with it. I don't know how, how fast that oil is gonna burn out, but let's see how high we can get it. Whoa. Let's go all the way up with this thing. Holy sh Whoa. Yo. Look at the flames coming out of that thing. Whoa. Yo. It's burning clean too. Look, there's no soot. That is putting off some heat, man. Like I said, now that the, the oil's dying down, you can see there's a little smoke going away. So I think if we can get a drip in there and keep it rolling like it was, this thing is gonna heat. That worked way better than I thought it was going to. So now let me get the drip feed set up and see if we can get that to keep going like that and maybe even go higher. I've got this temporary drip feed system going here. What I did was I took the steel plumbing pipe and put this 90 on it and put this little bowl fitting on there. And then I ran some pipe up here and it goes to this ball valve and it goes into the five gallon bucket. And I used this uh, compression fitting here that I got for that. And it seems like all that looks pretty good. Like I said, this is just temporary. And this way I can see how much is dripping into there and we can kind of adjust it as we go. And I do have the used waste oil in there. So it may have a bunch more contaminants, a little bit of water in it, I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's not gonna burn as clean as that bar and chain oil. So to start it, I'm gonna pour a little of that bar and chain oil in there like we had, get it going with the weed burner, turn the fan on slowly, and then just kind of crack this valve and let it keep dripping into there and see if we can keep it going. By the way, I do have all my doors open in here so I have a nice flow of air going through here. That's it, it doesn't take much to get that going. It's going pretty good. Get some more air going to it. Let me crack this just a little bit to get some flow going through there. As you can see there, I got a nice little stream going through there. Let's bump this fan up, get it rocking. Whoa.
So I can see one of the problems already. When I turn the air up too much, it'll actually start blowing the oil back out of there. So I might actually have to come down with a pipe so that it goes down in there and I don't have that issue. Something to keep in mind, this is 12 inches across, so my burn tube is actually like nine inches inside. This is a big flame. It's putting off a lot of heat. Whoa! Look at that. I think I'm pretty good with that. That thing puts out some serious heat. And remember, that waste oil would have been thrown away, so it's pretty much free heat. So what do you guys think about the build? Was it worth doing? Leave it in the comments if you're interested in seeing me stick it in my heater and seeing how hot I can get my shop one and how long a gallon of oil lasts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, give me a follow. As always, I appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys on the next one.